Hi there, and welcome to another pencast for the course Reasoning and Logic. This one treats an old exam question, which is about solving crime using some logic. Without further ado, let's take a look. So what does our question ask? Our question asks, well, if we have four witnesses and only one of them tells the truth, can we find out who did it? So the important part here is that only one of them tells us the truth, which means the others must lie. And the question is, who should we arrest? Well, let's first take a look at what each of them state. So the first one says that either two or three committed a crime. Two or three did it. The second person says that three or four to, uh, committed the crime. The third says that, well, if it wasn't one, then it must have been four. So this takes the form of an implication. And the fourth one says, well, it was either two or three and one did it together. Okay, so we know that only one person told the truth. So what happens if they lie? Well, if the first one lies, then two and three didn't do it. The second one, three and four both didn't do it. The third, well, that's a little bit more complicated, but it must mean that one and four didn't do it. And in case of the last one, it wasn't two, or, and it wasn't three, or it wasn't one. Okay, good. Let's take a look. Imagine that one is the person telling the truth. What does that mean? Well, if one is the person telling the truth, then two or three must have done it. So what happens? Well, if one told the truth, the others must lie. So that's it. this is impossible, because if we take a look, two says that three didn't do it, and three sa uh, sorry, four says that two didn't do it, so it's impossible for two or three to have done it. Okay, so what if two tells the truth? Well, if two tells the truth, then three or four must have done it. But again, this is impossible, because if two is telling the truth, then one and three must have lied, and they both tell us that three and four cannot have done it. Okay, so it's not one and it's not two who told the truth. What about number three? Could they be the person who is speaking the truth? Well, let's take a look. If number three is telling the truth, then not one implies four. In other words, ah, one or four must have done it. Right, remember how the equivalence of an implication. But, okay, four couldn't have done it because two lies. But, yeah, one could have done it. This is consistent with the story of one. It is consistent with the story of two. And it's also consistent with the story of four when all of them lie. So, we seem to be done. 3 is telling the truth, and that means 1 has done it. But, well, for completeness, let's take a look at what the 4th witness states. So if 4 is telling the truth, then either 2 did it, or 3 and 1 did it together. Well, the last part doesn't really make sense, because we're looking for a single suspect. But sure, let's try anyway. So 2 couldn't have done it, because the lie of answer 1 makes that impossible. And... Well, one couldn't have done it, and three couldn't have done it either because of the lies of number two and three that both exclude three and one, respectively. I circled the wrong one here. Apologies for that. But yes, there you have it. Three must have told the truth, and as a result, one must have been a three. So, let's arrest suspect one, and let's get back that television, was it? With that, we've come to the end of the video. Hopefully, this question is a little bit clearer now. I'll see you around for the next one.